Uh, testing. All right. This is working. Yay. All right. So I'm uh, I tried this real quick over my lunch break. This was the last game of four that Clack Juice and I played last night on Enclosed. I think I've only played this map once before. I actually really enjoy it. So you're stuck in this little enclave, maybe? In the woods, in the middle. And there's this, I don't know what this is called, stone way that you can't build on. So it's not like you can wall the edge of the map because this is all, you can't wall this. And on the outside is an abundance of gold and stone and a lot of berries. So anyways, here's the map, all pretty even. I'm over here on one flank as the Mayans. Clack is the other flank as the Taters, Tatars. And then Juice went pocket with the Persians. So I Juice, one of our earlier games, I think maybe our first game, I can't remember, our first or second game, he decided to go Persians for some reason. He really enjoyed it, so here he is as Persians again. On our side, my flank, we have the Britons. So mines versus Britons, two archers. On Clack's side, yeah, Clack's side, you have the Japanese. Then their pocket Khmer. All right, so we're going to speed up a little bit. So I think it's interesting. Starks, everything's so close. Your two rhinos are right here. So at least for me, it threw my timing off a little bit because they aren't that far away. Um, early age, nothing too exciting. I said, if you hear anything in the background, I apologize. My kids are supposed to be watching a movie. Staying out of the heat. Um, instead, I hear a bunch of yelling. So I don't think the movie is going too well. There's my first boar. Your first boar. You have your first boar. Ooh, that was a little far out. While also getting cattle. Oh, that's interesting. You got a house you built right in this farming area. Good boar. Eh, not a bad boar. Interesting thing about this game is that we all have berries, but the berries are out. So I noticed I had two. I, at first, I noticed I had two berries. So I built my back one. I guess Louis didn't matter. Yeah, you built yours on your back one. He hasn't gone to berries yet. All right, so we should be in close, all of us, to clicking up. How's idle time? Ooh, Red is not doing good on idle. I know Clack, that's why I'm interested to see. I know Clack said Red seemed pretty good. Pushing deer, two deer. Said it's pretty good as micro, but he is not good with his idle time. That's gonna hurt him. Oh, and what? Oh my goodness, he needed the mill to go up, so he just dropped it right there. Okay, red did not balance well at all. Getting your barracks up, he's getting his barracks up. Oh yeah, his scout chased me at one point. Hurt my eagle, but I killed his scout. I think we all have the same idea. I at least wanted to keep my main TC safe. Yeah. Looks like we're all really doing that other than these two. All right. I want to start slowing down here a second because I believe Juice, I, I I really messed up my build. I only had enough wood to drop one archery range. And a blacksmith, I couldn't drop two archery ranges. I probably should have done what Clack said after we talked about this game. Drop the two archery ranges and as I'm building, build the blacksmith as I get the wood. But Juice already has two scouts out, three scouts out, the forthcoming. Red just started building his. I started building my archers, but I don't want one archery range. The Juice had a very good uptime. At least we're all uh, before I comment. Come on, Louie. Come on. All right, never mind. I was going to say at least we're all under a minute idle time. <laughs> All right, minute, one second. All right, slow, yeah, slow down. So Red came for a couple scouts, but you had some scouts ready. All 
in Khmer Fast Castle. He's already on his way up. But I don't think that really helped him. So we got scouts going on over here. I'm starting to cue my my archers, I think, around this relic. Juice has five scouts over here. Okay, good spearman. That's that's good. If you can get him in position. So basically we have a one on one one v one over here. We're about to have a two v one over here while yellow is doing his own thing. Ooh, you have the spearman, but he has a lot of scouts. Okay, he's coming out with his own spearman. Well, it looks like you backed off a little bit. Fine with that. Juice is over here pushing him off gold. I was being useless attacking the house. Oh man, this is difficult. I wish I had Claxbillie to rewind. Oh, don't go on your TC. We pinch him here a little bit. But we're, if nothing else, we're causing so much idle time. If you watch this, just this idle eco is just going to skyrocket. His idle TC is going to skyrocket by what we're doing. I mean, not TC, but I'm trying to focus the spearmen. Constantly bringing in more archers over here. Although, well, except for the ones I'm leaving over there, apparently. So I killed the spearmen, and you finish off the archers. I mean, purple isn't hurt. Meanwhile, yellow is in castle age, dropping a TC. So while purple is getting double teamed, yellow is trying to boom behind it. I, I don't. I think this game could have turned out so much more different if yellow simply would have dropped a couple stables and start producing some knights. Meanwhile, it's only one, one eco kill this whole game. Oh yeah, I've missed this part. So at one point, no, I'm here fighting. I was like, oh, Louie left. Cause I don't, I don't know if I have a market up yet. Yeah, I don't have a market up yet. So I didn't know where you were. Anyway, you were up here attacking yellow. You know, some more fights down here. I did kill a few more of his archers. I hadn't seen this tower yet. Oh, you broke into his gold. Nicely done. Killed two of yellows. You guys are just going back and forth over here. At this point, I, I mean, with Juice's help here, killing off the archers, I finally got the archer numbers over him. Yellow has a spearman down here. All right, you see spearman, so you start retreating. I stand out here. Oh, well, once I see the tower, stand out here, preventing the gold, or trying to. I know we talked, you came back, so I... I asked if we could take this tower out, but I thought better of it afterwards. I think I asked you to abandon. Yeah, once I saw these, I said it's probably best to abandon. Yeah, you know, clacks up here. Red's about to be walled in, completely walled in. No gate or anything. Yeah, this is where we wanted to attack the tower, so I'd probably not worth losing the scouts. I mean, again, look here, almost an hour idle eco time from purple. And yellow's only building some pike. He's not really even in the fight. I kind of feel bad for purple. He didn't have a bad defense. If he just had any help from his pocket like I did, this could have changed, out dif or changed differently. Uh, I think, yeah, at this point, Juice looked away somewhere. Lost all the scouts. Here, I, I think it was at this point I decided, okay, the scouts are gone, he has a bunch of skirmish. So I backed up. I want to focus on my eco and try to get the castle. I need to get the advantage. And yellow goes for a third TC. Again, his teammates absolutely getting destroyed, and he's just focused on uh, getting TCs up. 
So if you two click up the castle, I think I buy my way up here soon. Let's see, let's check out Ecos. I have a bunch of farms, a bunch of wood. Sorry to spread out to some gold and berries. Houses. Clack is starting to go some archery ranges. Oh, okay, it's a Tars, yeah. I'm on my way up. Red's on his way up. Purple is, I mean, purple's just hurting from our attacks. He's still trying to recover. All right, look, yellow finally showed up after the fighting's already been done. He has three TCs. I mean, just imagine how different this could be. I mean, you, you drop three TCs, but then you idle time skyrockets. Look at that. I have one TC, and I have six more villagers than him. What's the point of dropping three TCs if you're not going to produce out of them? If you're going to do this, you got to boom, and you better get ready to carry the team once your flank dies. Yeah, it just was not very good, I don't think. Or had the wrong strategy. Let's look at... Yeah, does not have enough food. Red has a bunch of wood. Yeah, we're not going to look at this for long because I was floating so much wood at the end. Let's go back to overall KD. I have a decent one. Purple is getting hit. Yeah, I don't understand. What, Yellow's idle TC time is just ridiculous. For He just, yeah, right here. First night, 24 minutes in the game. I think he had like a 14-something. 10 minutes later, he finally built his first night. That could completely, I think, change the game if he built knights against us earlier. Juice decides to come build a forward siege. I start dropping more. Here comes some knights. I get some upgrades. Here comes some more upgrades. So red is going archers. Oh, here comes clack in with some cav archers. We have attack. Apparently has okay. Red just got his. Oh man, a couple thirty seconds earlier, he would have had the uh, unupgraded uh, archers. He goes a second TC. I did decide to drop a second TC on wood and stone. My I really wanted to do castle here to protect our side. At this time, I think we were all worried about yellow. Uh, if they had such a fast castle, we thought they would have had a lot more knights than six with only one upgrade. We are all very worried. Well, I know Clack was worried about red, saying his micro was pretty good. I was worried about yellow coming to help purple. Oh, I forgot this. So pay attention to this, because I'm probably going to miss some. Juice is at 5-0 Eco KD right now. What's this? Oh, OK. Komodo Dragon. So yellow comes down here to react to Juice. Meanwhile, Juice is like, see ya. I have archers here and he, I have knights here. Clack is up here. Oh, slow reaction by red. Oh, oh. oh this is going to be tough. So I start fighting here. Meanwhile, Juice is trying to do everything. Red's pushing on to Clack. Oh, with a Manganel, too. I think... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see some of these. Yellow's not paying attention here because he's focusing back here. You're not too worried about that. At least not yet. Okay, you're building a couple knights. I think at some point, yeah, Juice says some knights over. While still attacking it. Oh, I didn't see this. You came all the way to yellow too? Nice. Now this game, I, we're more just playing cat and mouse here. Trying to bait each other. I didn't really push in because he had too many skirms. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, you're going to need to get some. Uh... Holy crap. Oh, and you just killed. 
all of those villagers up here. Yep, 12 0 now. I'm just starting that archery range to get a hole in here for juice. Looks like you cleaned up a good amount. Oh, he took the minion out, and then you cleaned up the archers, push him back. Oh, come on, come on, come on, right here. Is it here? Oh, I decided to drop it. Oh, there's one hit. All that damage. I decided to drop a castle here. All right, yeah, that's probably why I said back out. Oh, that's going to be a cleanup. Uh, oh, yeah, and Red knows it. Yeah, we're still playing cat and mouse. I have a much better... Oh, yeah, I have an extra armor. I have ballistics and he doesn't. Red wisely backs off. Oh, man, you two have over here on the other side of red. Oh, you're pincering him. Meanwhile, we're, I'm here just... Yeah, I'm not pushing in yet. Maybe I should have. I didn't want to get trapped with all the skirms. So you're hitting him over here. Oh. I know I had some good Manganel shots. We're trying to watch. There's one. Yellow does sign to join the fight. There's my kids outside doing whatever kids do. He goes for another TC in the middle of this fight? Why? I feel like that's so many free kills for you right there. Oh, I had another shot here. Actually missed one there. There's another shot. Man, that, this was the best thing I did all game, was that. Oh, yeah. Juice finally looks down. I was like, oh, there's a hole here. It's up to 25 now. Yellow, so I'm like, oh, maybe I should come help. I decided to push out at that point. I had a huge army and clack cleaned, or clack, juice to clean that up. And purple decides to call it. Now, why not? Because we're not getting any help from his pocket. I mean, you guys have the... Jeez, you could destroy red here. So, purple's out, so we start moving up there. You guys are double-teaming red. It seems like a lot of double-teams. I, I honestly don't know what yellow did all game. You built, uh, it's a bit late to build stables. Shoot, you should have built that 20 minutes ago when you hit castle. Red quits after he lost his army up here. Meanwhile, you know, I kind of just wanted to, do, I don't know why. I decided to build a castle there. I saw this, like, it's probably not the best fight. I might have been able, I think I probably would have been able to take it actually looking back. And Yellow, I'm wondering if he makes sense to all of us. What kind of hack are you using? <laughs> but by hack, you mean actually creating military units. It's a pretty damn good one, apparently. But yeah, down, down here at the stats, before we look at the big statistics, Juice 33 and 0 Eco KD. Clack and I each had six. I mean, Purple. I kind of feel bad for purple. I think the whole game was based on the whole outcome. Double teaming purple while yellow decided to boom terribly. He, uh, for three TCs, how do you only have 58 villagers? Yeah, you lost 16, but come on. I have 85 off of two. That, that's just embarrassing. That's an embarrassing boom. And it was not a good strategy to begin with. Down here, 32 minutes idle TC, and you weren't hit that hard. You know, over here, I was I was pretty happy with three and a half minutes. Clack and juice, nine, seven. But purple, almost two hours idle. Green, an hour and a half of idle. Juice is our highest at 20. That's fantastic. I think the outcome could have changed if they would have had it 
any better pocket, any knight support on either side. So score wise, so I think in the game, I yeah, I had the highest score, but Juice, rightfully so, I think got the MVP ribbon. Because all his, just his support on both sides. KD, yeah, Archers is pretty easy to get a good KD if you keep him alive, but Juice with 70 kills. Again, Archers, you keep him alive, it's easy to get the army high. <laughs> As you can see, nonstop production. Yellow, come on, look at this. Castle Age at 1435. You're going to start building, I mean, you started building a couple of things. I think these were like Pike. You're going to start building his first knights until like 24 minutes. How as a pocket do you not have any military? Man. Anyways, eco. Now this comes as a surprise. <laughs> you have a lot of villagers, you get a lot of resources. Good food collection. Yeah, purple it never had a chance. Wait, great castle time, but what'd you do with it? You beat us all seven, eight, nine, almost ten minutes and didn't do anything with it. Society. <laughs> Easier to have a villager how we don't lose the villagers. We lost one villager between all of us. But that, that's, I don't understand. Three TCs and you only built a total of 74 villagers? Hmm. Did anyone get any relics? Where's, where is relics? Oh boy, none of us got any relics. Were there relics on this map? Yeah, there were. One here, one there. We each had one we could have gotten. I had one between us. Oh well, not that we needed it. I mean, you look at this map. I had taken one of these golds over. Where is my mining camp? I was taking this gold time moving forward, taking this gold. Man, look how much gold you have back here. 25, just this small section. We had plenty of gold. Um, I don't have APM. Anyways, whoops, wrong keyboard. Yeah, 20, 23 minutes. Actually, let's make it 23 minutes exact. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. We played three others. If someone else wants to cast those, preferably Clack would be the hamburger one since you need to rewind a lot. And I hope you guys all have a good day.